Hey YouTubers, I want to go over real quickly my DIY hydroponic rack. I uh, just got done with this the other day. I planted it today. It's a pretty fun project. I enjoyed it. Um, it did take me a little while to do it. Uh, it took a while to accumulate all the parts, to be honest with you. A lot of the stuff is on back order. I guess a lot of people are doing this right now. Um, but I did finally get everything put together and it's all running and I'm real happy with it. So for starters, what I did is instead of building my own rack, uh, I actually went to Home Depot and bought stair risers. Um, I put them so that they stood, this, they stand high. This isn't how the stairs, they would usually be rotated 90 degrees this way. Um, but I made it so that it's got some height. And then I just used some four by fours in the back. And then I leveled it in the front and then put some uh, stringers across it for bracing. And that was it. So that was a really easy project um, as far as getting the rack ready. So for the actual hydroponic uh, sections, what I bought, which is a little more expensive than four inch PVC, but what I bought was four inch uh, vinyl fence posts with caps. And I bought the caps that go on the ends and seal and put it on both ends and sealed it up. And then what I did is I have a feed coming out of my sump. This is my sump. I do not have an aerator. What I did is I made it so that the overflow comes down and it actually makes it falls into it. Water falls off into it and makes bubbles. And I think that's all I'm gonna do and see if that works. So my pond pump is down there. I do have a union. Uh, where it penetrates the wall so that I can take it off and I can slip the drain out. And this is just a tote you can get from Home Depot. But my feed just comes out and comes up and then goes in and it feeds into my hydroponics. As you can see. So it feeds in. The top rack angles down, slopes this way. I have a drain. What I use for my drain, I use one and a half inch bulkhead fittings that have a one and a half inch thread coming out the front as well, and then the nut on back. Then I just bought a adapter to go to one and a half inch PVC and drained it down to the next tier. Then of course the next tier is gonna slope the other direction. It's gonna have a slight slope, and then it just drains down goes back across, drains down, and goes back across, comes out the bottom, and drains and back into the sump. Very simple system, not a whole lot to it. Uh, it just took a little bit of PVC work um, and sealing it up, I had some leads. Uh, but that's really all there is to it. Now my pots are three inch pots, and you're gonna need these. If you go with three inch, it seems obvious, but it isn't. <laughs> Maybe not so obvious for me. Uh, it takes a three inch hole saw for your drill or a two and seven eighths and to drill holes for all your uh, hydroponic pots. I staggered mine so I have five on one row and six on the other so that they're staggered in between each other. Uh, just, be, just in case I wanted to plant something that grew a little tall, then uh, it wouldn't be blocking the light of the plant above it. I might have overthought that. Probably should have put two six cups on every row but it is what it is. Um, I have some lettuce planted in the first three racks and some tomatoes and strawberry plants in the top rack. This is all just an experiment this year. I just wanna see how this works, um, how viable it is, how well it works. And then next year I'll probably try some different plants after I see how these two, um, I just wanna see how they, different things grow uh, in this hydroponic system. Okay, so this is the pond pump I use. This is a Creekstone submersible pond pump from Harbor Freight. Um, after the 20% discount, and I even added the $10.99 two-year um, warranty, so this thing can run two years straight and I don't have to worry about it, it was $51 uh, at, with the tax warranty and everything with the 20% coupon. And um, the flow on it is perfect. The flow is adjustable. I've got it not quite maxed out because it got a little bit too deep um, but there is some room for adjustment with this pump so had great reviews we're gonna see how it works out on a side note I had this uh, 
this is also a Harbor Freight pump, like the pond pump that I bought also came from Harbor Freight. But this is a submersible utility pump and I already had it. So I figured, well, I'll just use that submersible uh, utility pump. This is a 1600 gallon per hour, way overkill. It overflowed my rack. It had way too much pressure on it. Uh, there's no way to adjust the output on these pumps unless you put in a, uh, a T with a ball valve to bleed off some of the, to discharge some of the excess um, pressure and water. So for me, it, it just didn't work. And I also didn't want to be running a sixth horsepower pump and then just bypassing 50% or more of the flow rate back into my sump. It's just a waste of electricity and, uh, and a waste of a pump, a more expensive pump. So if you see this and you're thinking, well, I'll just try that, you might take my, my uh, advice from experience and size down to a pond pump like I have and uh, save yourself some time. Okay, the next thing are these hydro crunch. I think that says crunch. It might be a G. I think it's Hydro Crunch. Uh, expanded clay pebbles. Um, you're going to use these in your cups for media. I know there's other things you can use. I think uh, coconut fibers and some perlite or uh, I don't know. Some people even use lava rock. These things aren't that expensive. It's a huge bag and um, I want to say it's 50 something dollars but uh, it's 50, I think this is a 50 liter bag. It's going to last a super long time, even if I'm doing the five gallon buckets, which I plan to. So again, Amazon uh, Hydro Crunch expanded clay pebbles. One of the other things I had to buy. So the other thing I've also used are these foam support and sealers. And what they do is they just open up and they go around your plant and you close them around the plant and then slip slide them into your uh, three inch pot. And what that'll do is it'll seal up your hydroponics so rainwater doesn't get in there or anything can get in there. Some of the plants I have it on, some I don't because they were too small. I had to push them too far down in there to get the roots into the water. But as those plants grow, I'll be putting these sealers on all my plants. These came from Amazon. The other thing I bought to go with my hydroponics is this pH up down kit. It was relatively cheap, so I bought it as just a safeguard even though I am using rainwater from one of my catches. So uh, I only had to use a little bit of the pH up. Um, and I don't know that that was really necessary, but I bought, I bought this kit. It's good to have, just especially if you're using tap water. Um, if you're not on well or using rain catches, then um, this might be something you want to get. Again, this came from Amazon as well. And lastly, the, thing, uh, the, the final thing I bought was lettuce fertilizer. Uh, this is an 81536 fertilizer. Um, it's for lettuce, although it does have uh, measurements for tomatoes as well during their growing stage and their uh, fruiting stage or, or blooming stage. So I have strawberries uh, in there as well, so I don't know how this fertilizer is going to work for that. It should be fine. But um, this is five pounds, again, from Amazon, uh, and you use very little of this. This is 2.5 grams per, per gallon of water. So this is going to last a very long time. So it was worth the investment. And you would probably be just as well off with something like a liquid miracle Grow or something along those lines. I chose this uh, because it's less expensive in the long run. You get so much and you use so little. But uh, it's uh, really any fertilizer I'm sure would be fine. So that's it for my hydroponic DIY project. Um, I know I went over it quick. There's really not a whole lot to it. I just wanted to give some ideas of how I did it. And then maybe you could come up with uh, an improvement to what I've done. So thanks for watching. Hope it helped.